Have you ever wondered how a war machine from the 1950s remains in service to this day? In the shadow of the Cold War, a monster of a machine was conceived. A machine that would go on to become a legend in the annals of military aviation. This Leviathan, my friends, is none other than the B-52 Stratofortress. In the early 1950s, the world was a chessboard of political maneuvering and military posturing. The United States, feeling the pressure of the Soviet Union's atomic capabilities, needed an ace up its sleeve. Enter the B-52, a long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber designed by the Boeing Company. Its inception was a testament to the technological prowess of the time. With eight jet engines and a wingspan equivalent to a small aircraft carrier, the B-52 was a sight to behold. Its design was unique, featuring a swept wing layout that allowed it to reach high altitudes and fly at impressive speeds. This colossal bird was built to carry the most devastating weapon of the time, the nuclear bomb. The B-52's role during the Cold War was as a deterrent. The idea was simple, to have a fleet of these bombers constantly in the air, loaded with nuclear weapons, ready to strike at a moment's notice. This strategy was known as Mutually Assured Destruction, or MAD. The B-52 was the embodiment of this doctrine. Its mere existence was enough to make any potential aggressor think twice before taking any hostile action. But it wasn't just its size or nuclear capabilities that made the B-52 a formidable force. This aircraft was packed with cutting-edge technology of the time. Its advanced radar system, electronic countermeasures, and high-speed, high-altitude performance made it a lethal and highly effective tool in the arsenal of the United States. And so, the B-52 Stratofortress was born, a symbol of power and a deterrent during the Cold War. This machine, born out of a time of great tension and uncertainty, would go on to prove its worth time and again, proving that sometimes, old dogs can indeed learn new tricks. However, the B-52 found its true calling, not in the Cold War, but in the jungles of Vietnam. As tensions escalated in Southeast Asia, the B-52 Stratofortress was called into action. The plane, designed primarily as a nuclear deterrent, was about to prove its versatility in conventional warfare. Yet, it wasn't without its flaws. Notorious for its unreliability, the B-52 often suffered from structural issues, with pieces of it notoriously ripping off during flight. This tendency for mechanical failure added an extra layer of danger to the already perilous missions. The B-52's first show of force in Vietnam was Operation Arc Light in June 1965. The mission highlighted the bomber's ability to deliver a high volume of ordnance over a specific area, creating a psychological impact as much as a physical one. However, the bomber's massive payload capacity, combined with its long-range capabilities, also presented a risk during Operation Chrome Dome. Tragically, the B-52 accidentally bombed America and its allies, a grave error that underscored the unpredictable nature of warfare. Despite these setbacks and challenges, the B-52's crews demonstrated incredible bravery and ingenuity, modifying their tactics to meet the demands of this new warfare. One such significant operation was Operation Linebacker 2 in December 1972, also known as the Christmas bombings. Over a span of 11 days, B-52S flew over 700 sorties, dropping 15,000 tons of bombs on North Vietnam. The operation was a pivotal moment in the war and demonstrated the B-52's capacity for sustained, large-scale bombing campaigns. The B-52's performance in Vietnam was a testament to its flexibility and durability, even in the face of its own mechanical issues. It wasn't just a nuclear anymore. It was a workhorse, capable of adapting to different combat scenarios and delivering devastating firepower where it was needed most. The bomber's success in Vietnam even led to upgrades and enhancements, mitigating some of its earlier reliability issues and ensuring its longevity in the US Air Force's arsenal. The Vietnam War gave the B-52 a new lease on life, proving it was more than just a nuclear deterrent. It was a versatile and formidable weapon of war, one that continued to shape conflicts around the world for decades to come, albeit with a legacy marred by its own mechanical deficiencies and tragic accidents. But how does the B-52 stack up against modern bombers like the B-2 Spirit? In the world of military aviation, the B-52 Stratofortress is an enduring icon. It's like the trusty old warhorse, 
still charging into battle while its more modern counterparts zoom past it. But don't let this fool you. The B-52 has a few tricks up its sleeve that keeps it in the game. Firstly, let's talk versatility. Modern bombers are designed with a specific purpose in mind, whether that be stealth, speed, or payload capacity. The B-2 Spirit, for instance, excels in stealth. It's designed to penetrate heavily defended enemy territory without being detected. On the other hand, the B-52 is a jack of all trades. It can carry a wide variety of weapons, from conventional bombs to nuclear warheads, and even standoff weapons like cruise missiles. This adaptability allows it to be used in various roles and scenarios, something that many modern bombers lack. Now let's delve into why the Air Force invested billions into refurbishing the B-52 fleet. The reason is simple, longevity and reliability. The B-52S have demonstrated their durability and the ability to adapt to evolving warfare demands. By strategically investing in upgrading their avionics and weaponry, the Air Force ensured these aircraft's continued service in an era of dynamic military challenges. Then there's the question of cost. In military terms, the B-52 is a bargain. It's much cheaper to build and operate than the B-2 Spirit or other modern bombers. This cost-effectiveness is a significant advantage, especially in an era of constrained defense budgets. Of course, the B-52 isn't perfect. Its age means that it lacks some of the advanced technology found in newer bombers. It's not as stealthy as the B-2 Spirit, and it can't fly as fast or as high as some of its modern peers. But the B-52 isn't trying to be a stealth bomber or a supersonic jet. It's just trying to be the best B-52 it can be. And that's where its true strength lies. The B-52 has evolved and adapted over the years to meet the changing demands of warfare. With billions spent on complete fleet overhaul, it's been equipped with modern avionics and weapon systems, ensuring its effectiveness and relevance in the current warfare landscape. While may not be as stealthy or technologically advanced as newer bombers, the B-52's versatility, cost-effectiveness, and the strategic investment in its modernization have kept it in the game. The B-52's service didn't end with Vietnam. It has been involved in many conflicts since then. As we move forward in our timeline, we find the B-52 proving its mettle in the scorching sands of the Middle East during Operation Desert Storm in the early 90s. The bomber's versatility allowed it to adapt to this new theater of war, showcasing its ability to deliver precision-guided munitions, a far cry from the carpet bombing strategies of Vietnam. With the dawn of the new millennium, the war on terror saw the B-52 in action yet again. Its long range and hefty payload capacity made it an ideal choice for missions in remote locations, particularly in Afghanistan. Here, the B-52 demonstrated its ability to loiter over targets for extended periods, providing close air support to ground troops and raining down destruction on enemy positions at a moment's notice. But the B-52's role wasn't just about delivering firepower. Its extensive range and endurance made it a valuable asset for surveillance and reconnaissance. Equipped with modern technology, the B-52 could gather crucial intelligence data, providing commanders with a real-time picture of the battlefield. The B-52's adaptability has been its saving grace. Over the decades, it has been retrofitted with the latest technology, allowing it to keep pace with more modern aircraft. From the installation of GPS navigation in the 90s to the integration of advanced targeting pods in the early 2000s, the B-52 has continually evolved to meet the demands of modern warfare. Yet, despite all these upgrades, the B-52 remains a testament to the ingenuity of its original designers. Its enduring service is a testament to the timeless principles of aircraft design that were employed in its creation. The B-52, a machine born in the early days of the Cold War, continues to serve in an age of stealth technology and drone warfare. This bomber, once considered obsolete, has proven itself to be an enduring icon of American air power. Its service record is a testament to its versatility and adaptability. Even in the 21st century, the B-52 continues to prove its worth on the battlefield. So what does the future hold for the B-52 Strato Fortress? Peering into the crystal ball, the future of the B-52 is anything but obsolete. Despite its age, the B-52 Strato Fortress is gearing up to face the challenges of modern warfare head-on. The venerable bomber's longevity isn't a fluke. It's a testament to its robust design and adaptability. 
the US Air Force has significant plans to keep the B-52 relevant through the mid-21st century, with a projected service life extending even beyond the year 2050. This would make the Strato Fortress the first aircraft in history to serve for over a hundred years, an incredible achievement in the world of aviation. Key to the B-52's future is a series of planned upgrades. The most significant of these is the Commercial Engine Replacement Program, a bold initiative that aims to replace the bomber's eight aging engines with new, more efficient ones. This upgrade alone is expected to increase the B-52's range by 30%, and reduce maintenance costs by nearly half. But the improvements aren't just under the hood. The B-52 is also set to receive state-of-the-art radar systems, advanced high-speed communications, and a new digital backbone to better integrate the bomber into modern network-centric warfare environments. While it might not boast the stealth capabilities of newer bombers like the B-2 Spirit, the B-52 has something arguably more valuable, versatility. With its large payload capacity and ability to carry a wide range of weapons, the Strata Fortress can adapt to a variety of mission profiles. This flexibility, combined with its long endurance, makes the B-52 a formidable tool in any conflict. So in an era of stealth and precision warfare, how does a Cold War-era bomber continue to remain relevant? Simple. The B-52 Strata Fortress is a testament to the philosophy that good design and adaptability can outlast even the most advanced technology. With its adaptability and proven track record, it looks like the B-52 Strata Fortress will continue to soar the skies for many years to come.